Hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. I'm just here in uh, Kirkland, Kirkland, Washington, um, between uh, music lessons I'm teaching. And uh, I just went to shopping for the first time at Sahand Persian Grocery. That's uh, yeah, Sahand, Sahand Persian Grocery. And I uh, just want to show you what I got. Uh, it came to about 84 bucks, which is a little bit up there, you know, for just a small, small shopping trip. But So uh, I... I know I've known some folks from Iran. Iran, sorry. I know I, we always say Iran in America, but it should be probably more closer to Iran. Iran with the rolled R a little bit. And I've known some folks from Iran. And uh, some folks, I'm also um, a gentleman I'm teaching his two sons piano right now, piano lessons. Um, but uh, anyway, and some other folks from Iran. So this bad boy, I got Olya, Olyaster Senjed. I'm, okay, I'm sure <laughs> it's probably a little bit different pronunciation with the... I've heard, I think I've heard of Olyaster, but I'm not sure. Anyway, but I guess it's kind of like dates. You just eat them, but they taste different. And I talked to a lady, Persian lady, about it a little bit. And anyway, by the way, the folks here at this store are really nice. They're really, really nice folks. I like them a lot. And my first impression of the store and Persian kind of stores like this in the United States are that um, it's a little bit. I've been to a Russian store, but it's it's the closest thing I can think of. That's it's not the I have I haven't seen anything Arabian. We have these little stores that are kind of like Indian Mexican spice type places, but that, that's different as well, a little bit. So Indian, East Indian, or whatever, and. Um, Russian are about as close as sometimes you get to, to Persian stores around where I live, but uh, maybe I just haven't seen some of the other ones. So this is teff, and it sounded like something that you make bread out of that I've had in like, like Ethiopian bread, but that might be a little bit different kind of stuff. Anyway, this is something you can put in water. If you have a cold, if you're sick, you can mix it up in water and it is really good for you. I'm not really sure this is the tastiest stuff in the world. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking it tastes like flaxseed or eh, whatever it is. It's kind of nutty looking. So it's probably not very sweet, but I imagine it's probably amazing for you. So again, this is teff. But it's a grain, so I imagine that they might make bread out of it. Maybe they just don't do that so much in Persia. Maybe it's more of an African thing. I don't know. Anyway, you guys tell me. So then I got this stuff that is... Um, oh boy, I'll try my best. Okay. Um, Maruf Tokhal. It's probably a... I'm just guessing. I'm totally guessing here. Sorry. I'm not Persian. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I don't know what that is. So Maruf Tokhal. Tokhal. Uh, pomegranate prunella. And a lot of Persian stuff there. <laughs> And, yep, I guess the company's from Vancouver, B.C., but uh, this is pomegranate prunella, so imagine it is a mixture of pomegranate and the prunes. This guy is a sour damson plum uh, fruit kind of thing. I, kinda mash, I think they kind of mash it up a little bit. Um... So if you have a toddler who's got teeth, a little bit of teeth, maybe this might be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Maruf Tokhal Sour Cornus Mas. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing this right. It looks like blueberries and uh, something along those lines. Uh, I doubt that it's... It doesn't look like huckleberries or bilberries, but they're all kind of similar. But you get into the, the current stuff, you know, current berries and... With Russian Russian stores, I've seen them, and so sometimes you get those old world things that are a little bit different than blueberries or cranberries. Sometimes you get lingonberries again with the Scandinavian stuff. But that's different. Anyway, got some sour cherry, same kind of stuff, and I imagine some of this stuff. I mean, it's great probably eating on its own, but I imagine some of this stuff is probably really good with the with certain kinds of meat that you probably put it on. On top afterward, and uh, like raspberries, blackberries. I think that's currants, or something along those lines down there. Uh, those red things on the vine are probably currants, red currants. 
So you got raspberries, blackberries, red currants, some strawberries, and oh, cherries. It's the fifth one, and two more that I'm not seeing. <laughs> uh, looks really cool. And you know, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be giving to my parents. I'll, I'll share some of it hopefully. Then I got on top of all that stuff. It's awesome stuff. I mean, really, this place is amazing. I. I just, you know, because it's just like I'm always curious about other kinds of countries and cuisines and this sort of thing. Big time. Big time. So you have Al Litani Gardens. Sorry, I'm get this in focus here. Al Litani Gardens. Orange Blossom Water. Udif, and this is in French, and then this is Persian, I'm guessing. It looks like Arabian, but it's not, not Arabian. I think it's Persian. And... Yep. It's... Orange blossom water. So I'm guessing, I'm just guessing you could drink this straight, but I imagine you probably want to put this on like in a salad, like a fruit salad, either way, any kind of salad really. Um, I don't think this is just for straight drinking, but you could probably mix it with water. This is probably pretty concentrated, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's probably pretty strong. Distilled water, orange blossom flower flavor. So I'm. my mom also has this doTERRA stuff that she doTERRA essential oils. I'm guessing this orange blossom stuff is pretty concentrated. It's pretty strong. So yeah, I mean like I'm guessing if you drink this stuff as in like you don't put it, use like a, like a second kind of, uh, I don't want to say salad dressing, but if you don't use it like a, a, um, like a, something you put in a salad, either vegetable or fruit to make it taste sweeter or have a certain flavor to it, like lemon, lime and stuff. I mean, if you treat it, you could treat it like a lemon lime type of topping for a salad, cold salad, or you could um, drink it. I'm planning on anyway the first one of the two more, but drinking it is kind of taking away some of the fun of it. But anyway, I don't know. Mint, mint water, probably similar, very similar deal. In this case, of course, you could probably use it for fruit, but mint is just gonna be amazing with vegetables. This is this is like. You know, usually if you make your own salad dressing, you use olive oil or something along those lines, plus some kind of vinegar, and then maybe some other stuff in there. But that's the main two ingredients if you make your own healthier salad dressing. But I imagine that mint bad boy can probably get in there a little bit for, you know, salad dressing stuff even. Okay, so then we got a few more things here, guys. Sorry. Um, this guy, mulberry syrup. I've had mulberries, but they've been dried and they weren't very high quality. And they were not the red, black, darker type. They were lighter. <sighs> yeah, kind of subpar. Anyway, so I was kind of turned off by mulberries after that dried mulberry thing. I got it Star Produce and Linwood, whatever. Ed Everett. But um, here we go. The ingredients are water, sugar, concentrated mulberry syrup, citric acid, mulberry essence, and then some other stuff. So this stuff is not as healthy as some of the other stuff I was just showing you guys, but it's probably darn good. And it also probably, I think I'm going to use this um, for like a topping for a fruit salad. I wouldn't, you can use it as drinks again, but I just, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, and then I got some, this is, this is, I know this just is big time Persian stuff, rose syrup. So I've had rose ice cream before, which uses rose water. Oh, that's such an awesome color. And uh, just, I mean, I, I just was totally amazed. I was amazed by the amazing taste of... I mean, this is one of those things where I'm just like, Persian food just rocks. It's just amazing. I mean, just if you like Indian food, if you like Greek food, if you like Lebanese food, if you like Middle Eastern food in general, or, if, you know, of course, like even European cuisines, it's, you know, because if you like all that stuff, kind of, it's just... Persian food is, is the stuff for you, but this, this just just how they do this stuff is just I, I just it's amazing. And I found out you know a while back we can do the same thing with violets, but um, anyway that's a different deal. I, I um, <laughs> violets are pretty potent. And, you know there's like a violet candy I've had that tastes like soap, so it's just I don't know if that's quite as effective. But roses are just because roses are in the same family as you know apples and cherries and strawberries and so of course you can consume it of course and it's going to taste kind of in that same ballpark but it just oh imagine the smell of roses and it just times a hundred when you taste it it's just heavenly 
heavenly. So I'm gonna see how my parents like this stuff here. Again, all this stuff wasn't was that wasn't really that bad. Not really that bad. Um, this guy right here, of course, the more traditional flavor, sour cherry syrup. So with these syrups, I imagine you could use them for drinking or for for dressings or for other things. Maybe have this other guy here, strawberry syrup. So right now, of course, as it is in the, in the still kind of we're warming up now in the spring, but it's like you know we don't have a lot of amazing fruit I mean, as as compared to summer and stuff. So getting this kind of stuff it makes a lot of sense because um, you know I mean for one thing Trader Joe's a while back I don't know if they still have their Morello cherries from essentially um, Europe but it's it's made in in Georgia like Georgia is in the old republic of <laughs> USSR that one in the Caucasus so basically I, I can't remember if it's in Asia or Europe technically it's on the border but basically it's it no it's it's asia it's asia but it's it's on the border area um but they had this this these merle cherries from the old world and um they don't i don't think they have them i mean i, I mean like they said they were sold out a while back when i was looking for them and i just the lady i was talking to at trader joe's was kind of she was uh she's okay but i think she was just very rushed she just didn't seem super polite I didn't make a big fit out of it. I was kind of disappointed. But yeah, I mean, like, so Trader Joe's kind of let me down, but it's just what they always go through stuff. They always circle through. So I just have no idea why they got the really morale cherries. That, that makes no sense at all. So then just to have this Persian place, you know, and they, they're selling stuff, that, all kinds of amazing stuff. You know, Sahand. I just love these guys because they have, they have, like, I didn't get the cherries, but they have the the canned cherries here and and like you know i i don't know how it compares price wise necessarily with the trader joe's stuff the merlot Merlo cherries but it's it's kind of probably pretty much the same stuff and you can get it out you can get cherries out off season so i mean like all you guys that love your trader joe's merlot Merlo cherries or a lot of the things that maybe trader joe's isn't caring right now just come on down to sahan persian grocery and get some get some cherries you know <laughs> i'm sure you could probably find them in other places but it's just nice to find them when you're actually you know, actually looking for food instead of, you know, going the Amazon route and trying to find some, you know, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. So, um, I am really, really impressed with these guys again. I'll try to keep this to minimum. Got to head out here in a second to go teach a horn lesson. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think. Um, leave me thoughts and comments below. Actually, I'm going to go through some of these guys one more time because it looks so amazing. The color of the color of this thing alone is just, it's just to die for i mean i i it, imagine it tastes like heaven it's just like and then you know anyway you, the mulberry you see you see the other ones that rose syrup was just oh mulberry kind of a purpley thing mulberry mulberry syrup and this little orange thing here orange blossom and the um little mint guy Mint water. And, um, yep, the other syrups. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.